emotionally or mentally or spiritually or any such way. You have to find your own way. You have to know the truth. And you have to keep uncovering all this hidden information. And that's what Stuart and I are working toward. And that's what we're going to do in October and November. And we're writing a book on that because we want people to see, look what's been hidden from you. This is the truth. And we can lay it out step by step by step. Just like what Stuart was telling you about Paris. Most people don't even know how Paris is named. And when we went over there, uh, you know, their parks didn't even have grass. Their parks had sand, like Egypt. And, uh, and rocks. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that just amazed me. You felt like you're in Egypt more than you felt like you were in the south of, or Paris, in Paris. Paris, France, yeah. South of France. But anyway, so it's interesting what's out there and what's being hidden. And so keep, people need to find out what's hidden within me. Find the truth within yourself. And the more you do that, your outer world has got to, to outpicture that back to you, and all their little charades and shenanigans are going to fall apart. Everybody has to do their part. Well, I, I and I, I really agree with you 200%, Janet, simply because I think in this program what we're also able to do uh, specifically um, is really kind of draws people's attention to the work that you and Stuart do. I mean, we've we've had conversations. You talked about God, God, mine, in my interview with you. Stuart talked about um, the history of the the galaxy. Um, in our first interview, he talked about the history of Blue Bud. But this is where it really where the rubber really really meets the road, and this is where we really get to talk about the work that you two do. I mean, your show has been doing very well here on the Community Listening Network, and I can't thank you enough for being a part of our of our family of great broadcasters. But again, in this particular conversation, we want to take the time because I, I'm really looking forward to these events coming up in October and November. And I think that they're really going to, with the state of affairs that we are in right now, I think that it's really going to be a, a major tool in helping people really, really find their way. And, you know, let's talk about that. As you started to, Janet, and, and what we would need to do. But, you know, let's kind of take it a step further in terms of how, on one side, negativity will intensify, but on the other side, what that, that which is positive, we have people such as yourself already in place who will be able to counteract that. Let's talk about that a little bit more. Learning, because I'm like everybody else. I learn as I go along. Is that because God mind always has to be in balance, the more that they throw out the negativity and the hidden, there has to be that balance, which means we have more opportunity for the truth to come out. And if people take the opportunity that's being presented to them and they continue to dig and to look and to search, all of this stuff is just going to fall apart, at least for them. It won't touch them. Even when the Nazis came through, there were a lot of people who weren't touched by that, who were Jews, who could have been potential targets, but who got out, you know, in a variety of different ways, and I'm not going to go into that on this particular show, but it's the same thing here. You don't really know what your options are going to be until they're presented to you, because this is all about individual growth and learning, and as you face your own darkness, as you face your own hidden truths, then everything else fades away. It's like people say, face your fears, and they don't exist anymore. I'm sure everyone has had those kind of things. You know, they've got their, their themselves, you know, ready to fix some horrendous situation, and it goes away. And that's because you don't need that anymore. You've already learned within yourself. And that's the same thing here. The more we uncover what's hidden from us, what's hidden within yourself, and it's so easy with the information that we have. We have access to universal law, and we are allowed to present that because the Illuminati can only allow so much to be hidden in order to have that balance so the universe itself or our, our reality doesn't collapse. They have to allow part of the truth to come out. And people like Stuart and I, we're unstoppable. If you know anything about our history, I mean, they, they've tried to put us down and they'll, they may keep trying, but it doesn't matter. Stuart and I are tenacious and we're stubborn and we're unstoppable. And our information is getting out there and we're moving and we're growing. And therefore, our world is moving and growing and our world is changing and we're uncovering the truth and we're here to share with you what we know so you can do it too because it's not just for us it's not just for a select few group of people everybody has access to it so take advantage of that opportunity of what we're doing and use it for yourself get your own information become your own teacher uncover your own truth and then all this other stuff becomes very transparent to you 
It, it's not a maze. It's transparent when you have the tools to look properly. And, you know, Stuart, you mentioned in some conversation, I think in, in one interview that you did with George Nori on um, Coast to Coast, that there are several realities that exist or, or there are alternate realities there is. Can, can we possibly see, other than the reality that the New World Order seems to want to create for us and Daddy Bush saying years ago that we will be successful at this New World Order, and yes, we will be. I'll never forget that. I even have it recorded. Um, but there is another reality. Could we see another reality take place, and what could that reality be? Well, that's a very appropriate question at the moment. Because, as you know, in, uh, uh, on the 10th of September, uh, the CERN project in the border of Switzerland and France, a super collider will be turned on uh, officially for the purpose of trying to recreate the Big Bang uh, of, of, of creation. But the real purpose of it is to connect uh, with these other realities in which the New World Order uh, has uh, already taken hold and to bring that energy in here. So in effect, the super collider uh, so-called experiment is a global ritual to pull in the energies of success for the Illuminati. Hmm. Uh, so that's what we're unfortunately uh, going to see. But the other uh, interesting aspect is that they're doing this now. It's because shortly thereafter, they expect to create an event that will need that kind of power behind it or that kind of a support system. So we're actually seeing uh, a phase of something uh, that's going to happen very shortly. Now, what was it predetermined, and I have to mention this because we, we know that no history is particularly written in stone, but they usually are different realities that take place. Was it, is it possible that there was a reality that existed where Hillary Clinton would have been president? It was, was that possible? Yes, there's a, every, any reality that you can think of exists somewhere. Any possibility exists. And how does that work, you know, in terms of different alternate realities and, and you know, because you, you wanted to explain that, in, you know, not in detail, but somewhat. How, do, how does that particular principle work? Well, you know, God mind allows all things. That's why it's neutral. It does not interfere. There's no such thing as divine intervention because it doesn't have to. It knows that every act, every possibility takes place somewhere. Mm -hmm. And all of these different realities, these parallel universes, which, by the way, have been scientifically proven not long ago, okay. uh, when they found out that there's 20 times the energy in the solar system than really should exist given the material that, that we have here. And they said, well, that means there's 20 other realities close by that are, are affecting us. And that's the truth. Uh, the, there's infinite realities affecting us. It's a matter of what we focus on and what we pull in. And so it's like, think of it like a radio. As you turn the dial, even just a fraction, there's another station there. And it may have nothing to do with the station that you were listening to previously. Mm -hmm. So on the same dial of this radio, you can get many, many, many different stations or uh, think of it as different realities. Uh, that's all a matter of frequency. As you change the frequency vibration even just a little bit, there's a whole other reality in that frequency. And also we have a great DVD called Simultaneous Existences, which explains all of this in detail for those people who want to understand more detail about what we call the eternal now. Everything happens now. And that, that's very, very interesting because I think a lot of people are not aware of, you know, we you know, things like, you know, different realities and parallel universes are, are usually regulated to science fiction when in reality that's not the case it's something that really really exists on many different planes but it does affect us here currently so now that we're not we're looking at the potential there the reality of Hillary Clinton not being president um, we're looking at another reality with McCain being president could there possibly be and this is something that we're going to talk about in 